Well, NURBS modeling is sometimes criticized because it's uh, so out-fashioned because we are in the polygon world and uh, the computer games need polygons. And um, it's totally out of fashion. We don't want to use it anymore. Well, this is uh, a little bit over the top because in all industrial design, you need the smooth flow of NURBS curves and surfaces and you can only get them by uh, knowing what you're doing and creating good quality curves and then in the final phase you can convert them to polygons if you like but uh, for example this kind of uh, modeling here where I exactly know where I'm getting to what I want to achieve uh, I just duplicate uh, simple circles NURP circles, of course, there are no polygon circles in the in the 3D world. So I'm just um, basically cop copying and modifying uh, them and moving them in space. And I know exactly where I'm, uh, what I want to achieve, and uh, the result will be there in a second. So I don't have to talk about it a lot. Uh, this shows just the elegance of NURPS modeling, and uh, it's a pretty straightforward thing. Now I create uh, a a planner surface. It only works with uh, curves which are 100% planner and uh, of course for the bottom of this structure uh, planner uh, works and now I use a loft for the first section between the bottom two curves and uh, um, I could create another loft for the next section here. I could create a loft over all the curves but I know that uh, I have different kind of, uh, well, parts of this object. So I want to stick to a method where I uh, select curve and curve and connect them to uh, via a loft, like here again. I have to um, just uh, visualize it again and focus on it. And uh, then I move uh, further up and now I select more curves and uh, create a loft with them. The selection uh, sequence is important, of course. And now I have the loft, and you see it can be a toothpaste or something like that, which uh, you use in the bathroom. And you can uh, modify things because of the history in the curves. You would just, uh, and this one gets uh, will become planner as well. Yeah, it is already. And uh, I can close the gap up here using a planner surface or just scaling it down. I'm doing it with a planner. And um, I need to uh, reverse that surface because it looks black now. And uh, so it's pretty trivial. I see seams in between which won't be uh, rendered uh, as seems it will be a totally intact surface. So now I can go back to the curves and just move the curves or scale the curves and uh, get all kinds of different shapes of this container of well shampoo or toothbrush or whatever. Of course I can animate the, the things elegantly using the curves not the surface and in the polygon world, you don't have curves which make up surfaces. You just have the polygons with their faces, which is a very elegant system too. But basically, this um, uh, the NURBS world is totally different. So I'm um, creating a, an Arnold uh, uh, surface shader with a plastic uh, preset. And uh, I change the color of the bottom one to another Arnold standard surface shader which will become more or less white. Preset again, plastic. Because it has that exact shininess of, of plastic. Which in the rendering looks like plastic and it doesn't look like, for example, uh, glass or, or metal. Now see that the tiny surface, the, that ring at the very bottom is just okay in blue, so I'll leave it there. And uh, at the top 
Well, I can make it slightly asymmetrical, which is nice too. Just tiny modifications and examples how I could live with them. Well, this is a, uh, the alternative. Uh, NURPS modeling, it's a little bit crazy. And uh, you see how you can use other tools in order to create really dramatically different surfaces. So I have a, a torus and a sphere now, and I um, use the make NURPS sphere node in order to open it and the same with the torus. That's an elegant thing in the NURPS world as well. So it's two NURPS surfaces. I change the sections and uh, to uh, change the resolution of that torus a bit and the radius, make it bigger. And now I choose an angle. I'm sort of getting in the mood to cut things. And uh, I'm going to cut it with a NURPS circle. Getting ready now for the, actually it's called a trim. Well, and the trimming process uh, starts with a projection. And in most cases you would project things orthogonally through one of the orthogonal windows, but in the perspective windows it gives, gives really funky structures now. Select the uh, circle and then the, uh, and then the surfaces, and then I go to project curve on surface. And now I have my curve in the perspective view from that angle projected onto the two surfaces. Uh, and um, when I move the circle now, they move or modify CVs. The, uh, they move accordingly on the, on the surfaces. So again, construction history. And very elegant uh, curves on those surfaces, on that sphere and that torus. Now I go back to object mode and trim that surface. It's under the surfaces menu. And the trimming thing, uh, well, the user interface looks a bit, a bit complicated, but it's quite easy. You just pick that part which you want to keep which I just did. And then I do the same with the torus now, which looks a little bit more complicated. So I have to rotate around it and really check what part of the surface I could uh, want to keep. That one, press enter, and then I have the surface which is left. All from that simple projection from that circle through the perspective window. Now I delete the history. That means they're not dependent on that circle anymore. I don't need the circle anymore. They're independent, new, totally new, and very smooth surfaces. Now uh, I can uh, select the trim edges, which are the edges where I uh, trimmed the surface, and copy them. Duplicate the surface curves is the command. and. Uh, I can uh, create new uh, surfaces from that. So that's a starting point for new surfaces now. So this is totally useless. You won't uh, be able to use any of these things in industrial design, but it's just uh, ways to uh, show you how to use just the NURBS modeling method. And here are some renderings. And I must say the surfaces look elegant and three different shaders in this case Arnold renders them beautifully and uh, we have different materials and this looks a little bit like a shoe from this perspective I convert the NURB surface to a polygon and I think I go for quad or quad structures because it looks not triangular really and so I get a, a polygon surface on the left which is very similar to the NURB surface so from the polygon surface now I can create a mesh network M-A-S-H and I have 10 of them and I can distribute them differently and I can use a falloff um, 
object and uh, I can render everything with a depth of field. So it's a combination of all kinds of techniques and it's the starting point. Here I have uh, I think three thousands of uh, that red surfaces which are created from the trim function in the NURBS world. Um, so it's a combination of all kinds of techniques and you can go from A to B to C and to Z and back to, back to F, uh, whatever you like. So I hope uh, this inspires you a little bit to experiment with things and not be always too straight with modeling.